This is one of the largest black halls that I've ever seen. Black hall is a shrubby tree. They tend to be small. This one is larger than I think virtually anyone I have ever seen before. They don't usually get this large. And look at all the fruits on this. When these are ripe, these fruits will turn black. In fact, I think there's some old ones from last year up there you can still see. And they are known by the name of wild raisins. And what you have inside is a very large seed with a very thin coating of pulp around it that is sweet and tastes a little bit like a cross between a raisin and maybe a prune, but not quite as sweet as either one of those. Um, they're nice to, you know, to kind of eat, but again, you got to kind of spit out the seed. So it's a lot of work for not a whole lot of uh, food. But, you know, I this morning when I went out for my walk, I had wine berries. The wine berries are starting to ripen right now. For the last two weeks, I've been eating mulberries on my walk pretty much every morning. Uh, you know, it's like, hey, it's there. Add it to your diet. Of course, the part of this that's primarily used is the bark, traditionally either the root bark, which is a lot of work, or the stem bark. But again, you don't want this quirky stem bark. This cork has no activity. This is inert. So what you're looking at is you're looking at younger branches that a lot of, there's a lot of dead branches in here, but you're looking for younger living branches that would be harvested again, early spring or in the autumn. And that's what you would harvest. And black hall is a effective antispasmodic, especially a uterine antispasmodic. So it is used for dysmenorrhea. The funny part is, is that it's relative. This is viburnum prunifolium. It's relative viburnum opulus um, is basically has the moniker cramp bark. Except of the two, this one's actually stronger. So I'm not sure why that one got called cramp bark, except that where it was used, it was used for that. Here it's called black hall. A hall, by the way, is a fruit. So, and then they turn purplish black. So that's where the black hall comes from. Um, but it is one of the more effective remedies for menstrual cramps. And you can combine it with things like Cyperus, uh, Xiang Fu. Uh, you could combine it with, if there's a lot of pain, with things like uh, Cordalis or Jamaica Dogwood uh, for menstrual cramps, depending on the severity. It also, as I mentioned earlier uh, on another walk, I mentioned that it can be used for intercostal pain. So in combination with pleurisy root, so black hall and pleurisy root for intercostal pain. Uh, it also has some benefit for things like spasmodic coughs. In the UK, they also use this for lowering blood pressure. And honestly, I think there are way better things for reducing blood pressure. But if you have hypertension with a lot of also muscle tightness and muscle tension, then I could see maybe that it would make sense. But beyond that, I'm not, I don't really think it's probably, uh, you know, it wouldn't be in my top 50 plants for, for hypertension for sure.